Hey. So, Saints Rose games are a thing. Pretty fun. The, uh... The first one, you know, GTA clone, everyone knows that. But it's really in the second one that it got really good. That's when you could, uh... Well, that's when they had fun with it. They stopped trying to be serious. Although some of it was serious. The whole Carlos... That part about Carlos was okay, where he, he had to kill Carlos because he was so beaten up. And then some of it was serious too, where Aisha was killed and all that, but... Mostly it was a bunch of crazy stuff that you just did in a sandbox. But a decent story. Um, bit of spoilers here. I mean, it's an older game. I'm sure most people who want to play it have played it, but... It was... I like the spin they had in the story where, in the end, it turned out the corporation was causing a lot of the mayhem so they could buy up land cheap and then develop it. Yeah, that, that's really where the Saints Row franchise came into its own. And I like a lot of the characters in it, you know? There's, uh, well, for one thing, the character you have, you can customize it like crazy. And it's not this boring customization that's in a lot of games where it's just a lot of boring features. Like, everything in it's over the top or crazy. Like, crazy outfits, face with weird tattoos or scars, whatever. So that's good. And you can even have the different voices, and they're generally funny and unique from each other. Uh, yeah, that's not really a phrase, but you know what I mean. Yeah. So, uh, I like Shandi. And she changes a lot in the third one, but I'll get to that in a sec. But, you know, laid back, kind of hippie Shandi character, Johnny Gat and Pierce. And the different, uh, the different gangs you fight in it. They're pretty cool. They're um, and they're different from each other again. You've got the the muscle car one guys and the ninjas and ultimately the corporation that you fight. Now in the third one, they just went absolute balls to the wall nuts, over the top crazy. It was a lot of fun, but I have to remember, I have to admit it wasn't. In some ways, it wasn't as good as the second. Uh, but it was still really good. A lot, a lot more fun than most games. That's one thing I love about the Saints Rose games. They, they remember that they're supposed to be fun. That that's the whole point. They're not trying to make fine art, you know. Uh, Shandi changes a lot in that game, though. In the third one, she's she goes from laid back hippie to over the extremely serious character. And I guess that's where Johnny Gat dies, so it's in response to that. Uh, Pierce, he doesn't really change much as much as he just becomes more silly by the third game. Um, and now, and by the fourth one, that's when they just go completely nuts. But it works better. It's like they figured out how to make it all come together. Um, you know, I don't know where they're going to go with the franchise now. I mean, they blew up Earth, right? <laughs> Unless they just go out into outer space. Uh, but of course, I'm assuming that whoever's watching this has played the fourth one. You know, they blow up, Earth is blown up and they have to f defeat the aliens that did it. And they're stuck in a virtual reality version of Steelport. And Steelport's, of course, the same city from the third game. And if there's one thing that, going forward, uh, that I wish they would change, it's the environments. Because, especially now where Saints Row has just become a crazy, over-the-top, fun game, I wish they would do that with the environments as well. Because... They had the same city for the first two games, and then a different city for the next two. Which, in it, in of itself, is fine, but... The cities were just kind of... boring? Not... Yeah, just very... Oh, very boring, very normal... Kind of a typical design. And... I think that if they're gonna go nuts with the story and narrative... They may as well go nuts with the with the city itself, too. 
Heck, maybe they could just go into outer space and it would all be like an alien world or something. <laughs> but I suspect if they do make another Saints Row game, it won't literally be Saints Row. It'll be more like a spiritual successor. Because I don't see where else they can do with the story. I mean, they blew up Earth, right? <laughs> that's, a, that's a clean break. <laughs> so... Yeah, I guess for a wish list, again, it would be to make the environments as crazy as as the story is. And definitely, oh, one thing from the fourth game that was awesome was the mech suit. They they understood that a mech suit should be slow enough to have some weight to it, but fast enough to be fun. And just be something that you blow shit up with. Yeah, they, they got the mech suit right. Um... So, bring something like that into another game. And... Maybe a little more consistency with the characters, or, you know, like, the whole bit where Shandi just flips into basically a completely different character. But yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to anything Volition comes out with next. And, for anyone who doesn't know, they're the ones that made the game. I, yeah, basically, I, I don't pre-order games much, but if they announced another Saints Row or type game, yeah, I think I would just pre-order it and have a good time. Anyway, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. Click on the annotation for a video on how video games should be fun.